lot of the symptoms of POTS are commonly seen in things like anxiety. It can often be misconstrued for years in people that are yet to be diagnosed that what they're actually experiencing is their body struggling to regulate blood flow. Hi, I'm Chandler, I'm a naturopath and I have POTS and I help people with POTS to reduce their symptoms and improve their overall quality of life. So with POTS or postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome, your body has trouble constricting your blood vessels when you stand up. This means that blood pools in the lower portion of your body instead of returning to your brain. To compensate for this, your heart starts racing, trying to get the blood to flow back up to where it should be. This event also releases a large amount of cortisol to help your body to get your heart pumping, which is great for that, but it also is going to set off our fight or flight. So the physical sensations of your heart racing, shortness of breath, dizziness, sweating, are the same symptoms that you would feel if you were experiencing anxiety, because both of these things trigger the sympathetic nervous system, which is your fight or flight. But the difference is in anxiety, the stress response will start in the mind, driven by worry and fear. In POTS, the signal starts in the body when your poor circulation and autonomic dysfunction trigger the same nervous system state. So if you're being told it's just anxiety, but you notice your symptoms are worse after standing up or in the heat, after eating a meal when you're dehydrated, POTS or dysautonomia could be something that you need to look into.